So if you want to load Gadget in more than once into uh, BeatMaker 3, here's what you have to do. First off, BeatMaker 3 is not going to allow you to load it onto more than one pad at a time. If you go to Inner Apps, it's going to say Gadget Audience uh, Loaded and I can't click on it. So I have to copy the pad onto which, on, I have to copy the pad where Gadget's loaded initially. So I'll go to the three dots on the side and go to copy and then I click on the pad I want it on and I go to paste now it's triggering the same instrument so second thing I can't get to a gadget by clicking on the icons within beatmaker I have to go to the first pad that that the original copy and then I can go to gadget or I can just double click my uh, home button and get the gadget that way too so in gadget right you want to set right now it's set to MIDI all that meaning that means any instrument that's armed with MIDI is going to be triggered within Beatmaker 3 I want to go to the icon that looks like a gear up top and click on MIDI input and go to advanced now I want to set each instrument down there down here to a separate channel so I'll go to where you saw where the MIDI was initially I'm gonna set that to gadget virtual import import in uh, virtual port I'm sorry and then go to channel one for the first instrument and then channel two for the second instrument same gadget virtual import I don't know if you can see that yet but virtual port and so on and so forth these are already set because I did th this earlier and I'll show you again how to do that you pretty much go to where the MIDI was initially and change it from all ends to virtual port and then change the channel to whatever channel you want it on go back to Beatmaker 3 And then, so see, it's still triggering the same sample. I'm gonna on that second pad. I'm gonna go to the three dots again. Go to MIDI setup and go to channel two. And that's gonna trigger the second instrument. And then, like, if I wanna go to a, a third pad for a third uh, instrument from uh, Korg. First off, I gotta copy. Then I gotta paste it. And then I go to channels, or MIDI setup. Shoot. And choose channel three. Now that's three different instruments out of court being triggered at the, at different, on different pads, you know. So each pad is representative of a different instrument. Hope that helps. Feel free to hit me up if y'all need any more help.